Thanks, Brooks. Some people in Puerto Rico are getting ready if Tropical Storm Dorian heads their way. A picture taken inside a store showing a full line with carts full of supplies. And some residents in Central Florida are also concerned about the storm. And we continue with our team coverage tonight. The news station's Jessica Albert live in the studio with more. Jessica. People in Puerto Rico are not taking any chances with this tropical storm. They're getting out early to stock up on supplies, all because of what they went through two years ago. Hurricane Maria devastated Puerto Rico back in 2017. The storm killed thousands of people, and in some areas, power was out for months. Now people living on the island are bracing for the potential of another storm. Tropical Storm Dorian is in the Atlantic right now and could become a hurricane in a few days. We spoke with a man who lives on the island earlier this evening whose family is already preparing. It's not as big as when Maria was going to come. And people are already flocking to the convenience stores, to the department stores, and just getting water. Several videos and photos like this one taken inside a Sam's Club have been posted to social media showing people doing just that, preparing for the storm. Richard Colon lives in Puerto Rico. I think some people are freaking out, especially the ones that are still living under blue tarps. We still have people leaving, living under the blue tarps and suffering from not having a, a, a roof. Uh, so those people are, are, are obviously freaking out because a, a small storm will destroy that tarp. And the potential impact of Tropical Storm Dorian is having an effect on some here in Orlando. I cannot lie. I am a little bit worried. Yes, I am a little bit worried because these phenomena are very erratic. They can change from one day to the other. Jarek Mediavilla has family living in Puerto Rico and is preparing to make a trip down there next Sunday. He and Representative Carlos Guillermo Smith are planning to get married in San Juan. Right now, they're unsure if their flights will be canceled. But we are hopeful that uh, we will be able to have our event for our guests in the island, which is, which is the main reason we want to do it there, to be close to the family and to help Puerto Rico after what happened with Maria. He says his family is also stocking up on essentials for the storm. The couple is still planning their wedding, remaining hopeful that the forecast doesn't get any worse. And as Brooks said earlier, the National Hurricane Center is forecasting Dorian to weaken significantly as it possibly approaches Puerto Rico and other nearby islands later this week. Live in the studio, Jessica Albert, Fox 35 News.